This place doesn't just feel like home. This place, it, it is home. And it means the world to me that I now have a key to that home. It means everything to me. If you want to achieve in life, you work hard, you give 110%, and you never let go of your dream. Well, his dream came true, and that makes him a town of Oyster Bay hero and our hometown champion. If you want to be at the pinnacle of our profession as a professional wrestler, this is the belt to win, the belt to hold, and I'm the guy to beat, and ain't nobody going to beat me because I'm a Long Islander, and you can't beat a Long Islander. <laughs> UBS Arena is proud to present a wonderful new show, A Man and His Music. The music of Mike Rogers and his great band. Gentlemen, welcome to MJF Day. I am your host with the most, the devil himself, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. And right now, we are here to celebrate the most important day of all, MJF Day. We're celebrating it live in the most magical place in the world, known as Long Island. And you know what? It's so magical here in Long Island that when it rains, it does not simply just rain water. No, no, it rains pennies from heaven. Hit it! Oh my God. At every time it rains, it rains. Penny from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains penny from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Make sure that your umbrella is up, 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 upside down. Train them for a package of sunshine and ravioli. If you want the things you love, you must have a piece only, baby. And when you hear thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you and me. No, Adam, come on here, boy. Hey! And every time it rains, it rains. And don't you know it's cloud contains? And every time it rains, it rains. And don't you know it's cloud contains? You'll find your fortune falling. All over town, all over town, all over town. Make sure that your umbrella is upside down. Jibbery bop. A high who's a who's a white. Inga laga who's a lee. A zumba loop, a zumba loop. Oh, Bobby Boy's on. Hey, Bobby Hobo. Ooh, Bobby Hey Boy. Tuna woo, woo. I know I got you. Long Island, clap for me, baby. Let's go. Jeff is channeling Louis Prima. For those who know, or care, it's all about the time test. Oh my. And you'll find your fortune falling all over town. There'll be pennies from heaven. Pennies from heaven. I said a penny from heaven for you and me. the car, I'll meet you out there, and it will be done. And run over me with... <laughs> and then back over me. The Max did a great job right there. Come on. All right. That's what you said earlier. He can sing. Ladies and gentlemen, Oyster Bay Town Supervisor, Joseph Sardino. I know this guy. He's got a lot of heat in town. Trust me. I'm Joseph Saladino, and I'm the supervisor of the town of Oyster Bay. Joseph Saladino's a great guy. He's given me the key to Long Island, so don't ruin this for me, okay? Shut up. <laughs> Max Friedman, you are the pride of Long Island. We love the way you wear Long Island so proudly on your sleeve. Max, you are our world champion and our hometown champ. So it is my distinct honor and privilege to present you, Mr. MJF, with the key to Long Island! Just scream. This is the highest honor I can bestow, and you deserve it! Aren't I right? So finally, Max, I'm here to announce that today, April 5th, is officially known as MJF Day in the town of Oyster Bay! Max, the key to Long Island we presented to you earlier in the week was a little below your standard, so we had it made much bigger just for you. Here you go, champ. Let's hear it for our hometown hero, MJF! Sal, he's got a future as a hero. Hey, everybody, give it up for Joe. Hi, give it up for Joe. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm talking now, so what's up? What's going on? 
You know, obviously this is a huge honor, and if I'm being completely serious, some would even say, you deserve it. Clap, 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 clap. And there are people out there who frankly don't deserve it. Losers like Sammy Guevara and Darby Allen. And worst of all, Jungle Boy. Man, the only thing Jungle Boy's ever gonna have is a girlfriend with a wandering eye and a tiny little penis. It's true, it's true. But right now, I'd like to tell you people a quick little story that I hope you find inspiring about my childhood here in Long Island, New York. And no, this ain't lore, this is my life. This ain't a villain origin story because I'm MJF 24-7, baby. Now, when I was a kid, and still to this day, I suffer from a learning disability called Attention Deficit Disorder. And yeah, let's clap it up for ADD, huh? Who's got it? And obviously having... Obviously, growing up with ADD had its disadvantages at times. No matter how hard I would try to focus in school, it just wouldn't happen for me. Now, there was one teacher in eighth grade who just wasn't sympathetic. Her name was Mrs. Benedict. And Mrs. Benedict... Just you freaking wait, I ain't even through with her. Mrs. Benedict would pounce on me like a lion. And she would wait for me to lose concentration. And every day she would say, Maxwell, answer this question on the board. And I would say, Mrs. Benedict, every day, I don't know the answer. And Mrs. Benedict would laugh at me. And then Mrs. Benedict would say, C-Class, don't be like Mr. Friedman. So after this happened, every single day in school, on the last day of school, Mrs. Benedict pulled me to the side. Can we raise the volume on this mic so I don't have to hunch over like a schmuck? Can you, can you hear me, Long Island? I said, can you hear me, Long Island? Fantastic. On the last day of school, Mrs. Benedict, she pulled me over to the side. And she said, Maxwell, where does your brain go during my class that you can't pay attention? And the answer was simple every time. Professional wrestling. Because I daydream every day, Mrs. Benedict, about being a world champion. And Miss Benedict looked at me and she said, Maxwell, the probability of that happening is slim to none. Well, Mrs. Benedict, looks like your math was a bit off, honey. Because I just got the key to Long Island. Because this is MJF Day here forevermore. And because I am the reigning and defending AEW World Heavyweight Champion. So I've got a lesson for this class. Don't be like Mrs. Benedict. And by that I mean, don't be a stupid bitch. Well... Keep it classy as and always. if you're a Long Island kid who's struggling in school, and I'm only talking to Long Island kids because, Daddy, I don't talk to disgusting pores. If you're a Long Island kid and you're struggling and people are, are telling you you can't accomplish your dreams, just know if you bust your ass, you could be anything you want to be. Except one thing. Me. <laughs> because my name is Maxwell Jacob Friedman, and I'm better than you. Well, MJF Day, officially... I don't think he's done. Oh, I'm still holding the mic. Officially over? We can only hope. We could be a mess of people now, Taz. You I know what? You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, do you people want to hear an encore or what? What? Oh, penis from heaven. I said, do you want to hear an encore? I said, do you want to hear an encore? We practiced this for months. I said on my tempo. You bum on my tempo. I'm sorry, guys. Got to deal with idiots constantly. It is not your fault. It is not my fault. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We will get through this together. I know. Jungle Boy Jack Perry, thankfully, putting an end to MJF Day. Oh, but MJF turned things around on Jack. Yeah, it's a fight out here on this ramp. Jack Perry right down with right hands. Keep choking him, Jack. Keep choking And MJF, now, the security detail. Trying to pull the AEW World Champion MJF and Jungle Boy Jack Perry apart. Yes, yeah, it's getting hairy out here. Kind of good they pulled them apart. I'd like to see them keep fighting. Yeah, members of our staff out here as well as security trying to keep them apart. Well, Sammy Guevara, I mean, he's been part of this this rivalry. This The three of the four pillars of AEW, the so-called four pillars that have had their eyes on MJF's AEW World Championship and Guevara with that AEW World Championship title belt at his feet. Uh, so as he touched it, MJF got furious. Yeah, they, it's everything they can do to hold MJF back right now. He wants to be the next world champion, like you said. Yeah, that's tough watching someone else hold up your title. And Jungle Boy Jack Perry, he's got his eyes oh, on the AEW World Championship as well. This scene I like. Oh. 